Hi, and welcome to my channel. So the UK government has unveiled their plans when it comes to workers and people that are working in this country, the UK. This is something that is really, really important because in today's video, we're going to talk about the top three plans and changes that the government has approved and indeed implemented. This is because whether you're already in the UK or you're still out of this country planning to move to the UK, it is crucial that you know exactly what to expect. Many of these changes are welcome. Personally, these are things that I've hoped to see for years. And so it's very good that over the years, you know, these are really coming into force and even the government is recognizing that these things are crucial. So if you're new to my channel, you're welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, I absolutely appreciate your time. And if you haven't joined this family, hit the subscribe button below because you want to be the first person that is notified every single day when I drop a new video on here because I'm passionate about career progression opportunities in the UK, free visa sponsorship opportunities to move to the UK or switch if you're already in this amazing country. And that's why I share these videos with you. And that's why I also have a free newsletter. If you check the comment section below, you see a link to join. It's free. You drop your name and email and I send that information directly to your amazing inbox. You're also going to see my contact details on there. There's my WhatsApp number as well as my email address so that if you need to contact me directly, then you can do so at your earliest convenience. Because like I say, I started my UK journey as a carer to then progressing to the most senior clinical nursing job. I now work as an advanced nurse practitioner. So I am very, very keen that we don't only move to the UK, but we succeed, excel, work less, earn more, and get to retire early in this UK. We're not here to work till we drop, work five, six, seven shifts every week, 12 hours, be the bottom of the ladder and all of that, it is unacceptable and that defeats the purpose why we put in so much effort to move to this country. So what is your circumstance at the moment? Where are you watching from? Drop your city in the comment section below. Which city are you watching this video from? I just want to know where we all are based so that we can get to just kind of interact and share ideas and if you've got any challenges also obviously drop them in the comment section so the top three that's what we're going to talk about the first thing is that of pay so the government has increased the pay dramatically and this is the highest pay rise that we have all had in the uk in the last decade which means doctors are getting a 22.5 percent pay rise which is huge it's massive they requested for 35 percent but this is the best offer that i've had in over 10 years nurses teachers you know and civil servants social workers and all of that they're getting 5.5 percent not as high as the 22.5 percent that doctors are having we'll see they all deserve it we all deserve more but the 5.5 percent pay rise is also the best offer that we've had in decades so the government you know when it comes to pay rise they know that to help with recruitment retention you need to pay people more that is obvious that is simple that's something that the unions have been saying for years so that's one of the things that i've done which is really really good the second one is my all-time favorite one of the things that i preach i like to use the word preach because i love it is apprenticeships so they have increased the funding dramatically for apprenticeships this is something that if the previous government had recognized and Honorable, you know, former Prime Minister Rishi Sunak was very, very keen on this, saying that they have to scrap most of those degrees that are unproductive, that is unfair for students to be spending a lot of time and money studying degrees that are unhelpful, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on where you fall. Um, he kind of lost the election, and so he's gone now. But this government has continued to say apprenticeships need more money, more funding, and more people. And so if you're not aware, by the way, I do have a private career coaching program. I've dropped a link in the description box below or the about section of this channel where I offer one-to-one -one tailored, individualized and personalized guidance with visa sponsorship jobs in the UK, career progression opportunities, most especially, like I say, that's what I'm really passionate about. As well as if you're a nurse, for example, you're wanting to get into nursing, get to the NHS, progress into nursing, you know, because nursing has loads of opportunities in the UK compared to any other job. Apprenticeships, which is where you're pay to work and study at the same time, which is what we're talking about in today's video, then I can support you with that. So if you check the comment section, description box below or about section, you see information about all of that. And then you can contact me at your earliest convenience so we can get started with supporting you through that journey. When it comes to apprenticeships, this is the best way to work or study in the UK because as you're working, 
you're gaining a qualification as well. So you gain experience as well as legal qualifications. Nothing beats that. I have done two apprenticeships myself. So the first apprenticeship I did was a mentorship in nursing at master's level in a very prestigious UK university over in London. And I've also done another apprenticeship for three years. I was paid quite a lot to study and work at the same time. So I have benefited firsthand from these apprenticeships. My first apprenticeship was on visa sponsorship. So if you're on visa sponsorship in the UK, that doesn't stop you from having an apprenticeship. So I've gone through that process. I'm telling you that I did my while on visa sponsorship and I didn't have any issues. So you can as well. And if you know somebody, by the way, that can benefit from this, please do share with them, encourage them, push them, tell them that it's possible and the benefits outweigh the inconvenience that it comes with applying for these jobs. Um, also, if you enjoyed enjoying this content, obviously hit the like button below. It lets me know you enjoy content later on. Obviously, I should do more. The third thing is career progression. Oh my goodness, career progression. Look, the only reason I moved to the UK was because of career progression. I was sat there thinking, if I don't move to the UK, will I be able to progress in my career at all? I was like, I don't think that's going to be the case. So I moved to this country. And so when I came to the UK, I said, if I am getting into any career, any profession, I must get to the top of it. Otherwise, I'm not interested. I am better off even going back home. That's my own position. We all come from different circumstances. And so you need to assess your circumstances and say what you're doing in the UK at the moment. Is that the best you can do? Because if you're progressing and you're, you know, improving and you're moving forward, that's all you need. It's going to take different lengths of time. You know, for all of us, some people take five years, some people take two years, some people take one year, some people take 10 years, 20 years. But the main thing is to keep moving ahead. So career progression, they've invested quite a lot of money, more money to come in into, you know, progressing into other careers carers especially because this is a field that the uk is very very short staffed they rely a lot on overseas workers and so if you put in more money pay people more help them to progress further in their careers it's going to be that movement but it's positive movement and so that helps to recruit more people and to retain people as well so these are some of the strategies that i thought i need to share with you really simple effective straightforward but these are things that are going to have a massive impact especially if they're implemented properly and promptly so again what do you think about all of this like i said if you haven't joined this family hit that subscribe button below because you want to be the first person that is notified every single day when i drop a new video on this channel if you haven't joined my newsletter it's completely free check the comment section below you drop your name and email and you're part of the newsletter so that i send information visa sponsorship jobs career progression opportunities in the uk apprenticeships directly to your inbox so you're not reliant on the youtube algorithm for such vital information that is crucial for your personal and professional development also if you haven't watched my other videos check this out it gives you some more information about those opportunities that are currently available in the uk if you need to contact me check the comment section below you see my whatsapp number email address and then you can contact me at your earliest convenience check this out right here